over here. My good friend Pam Leslie always has an open door for me. So it was kind of a good excuse to be here. Steve is busy uh, raising funds in Kittitas County tonight, so he could not be here. So you get me. And I'm excited I get more than three minutes. So I brought the list to make sure I missed nothing. First, I want to tell you what I know about Steve McLaughlin. Steve McLaughlin, 25-year retired naval commander, 10 years crisis incident trainer for first responders for FEMA. He's been serving this country for 35 years and serving it well. He has got commendations and thank yous from generals. I have read several. I'll give you the highlights of one. One was Wesley Clark in the uh, theater, the European theater, 83 countries. Steve helped write the Kosovo Agreement, gets credit for writing it, actually. And at the end of the day, the letter said, when there's a crisis, I call Steve McLaughlin first. Now, I think you guys are pretty aware, more than most people, that we're in a crisis when it comes to public lands in this state. So this is our guy. Other letters are interesting. I got asked when he started, well, can he handle working with legislators? Well, he's handled working with congressmen, ambassadors, and others. He, he has written for the generals the records that go into Congress. He's been thanked and told we did not have to change a word. So if that helps you get a little confidence in him at that level, I'm glad to share it with you. Okay, that tells you a little bit about his leadership. His focus, healthy forests and other lands. But up here, we're a little more concerned about the forests, what's left of them, than the other lands right now. Maintenance. You know, there's systems out there, satellite systems, that was turned down uh, by Goldmark. I don't really understand the reasoning, that can tell you where you need to clean up things first. What's most likely to go up in smoke? He would really like to see that. It would tell us where every single fireman was. And you know the DNR, the Department of Natural Resources, which he would be CEO of, has the largest firefighting team in the state. They're a little beat up right now, especially those that weren't allowed to fight fires. We're told to sit in their truck because they didn't have a leader here that said, get out there. Your job is not just to protect public state lands, it is also to protect private property. So some of those that burned up did not have to. There was too much fighting going on. Federal, state, local. Your sheriff in Republic, is that, is that the same? That's okay. right, Kevin. Well, the sheriff up there caught him squabbling and said, I'm the sheriff, I'm in charge, get out there and put out that fire, probably save the Republic. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have that in a public <coughs> lands commissioner where the squabbling didn't happen to begin with. Trust revenues, okay, it's a mandate in the state constitution to use the land to produce revenues for education. Imagine that, we have the construction money for education. That might help a little with that McClary thing since they're gonna end up demanding more classrooms, right? So that could be pretty helpful, could help not have to have us passing levies to build extra space. It would be very helpful. So he is determined to try to double the income that's there. Is that doable? Nobody really knows for sure, but that would be his goal, is to double that income. The goal of his opponent is to stop that archaic system. And she is on the record in writing. 46 legislative district. Democrat survey as saying it's an archaic system and she thinks it'd be better to raise the B&O taxes and maybe capital gains. Let me tell you right now, that capital gains thing gets in position, that state income tax they've been wanting, it's all set up and ready to go. Beware of the push for that. And the last thing really is the firefighting. You know the DNR, these employees, 60% are very unhappy. They don't get to do their job. They are, there's a lack of organization. There's no growth opportunity. In fact, 
10 advisors are appointed to help the land commissioner. Steve's never run for office in his life. And what he says is, I've had so much advice, I can't stand any more advice. He's never had so much advice in his life. <laughs> he says, that's 10 people he doesn't need. They each make $100,000 a year. He does not, he wants people like you guys to be the advisors. He wants people within the system to be advisors. And he wants to create opportunity for these employees for growth within, so that they're trained from the bottom, growth goes up, in fact, in the military, that's called, they're called Mustangs when they make it up. So they'll be DNR Mustangs is what they will be. And they will have the opportunity to be head of parts of it, whatever that looks like. I really don't know what the absolute structure is, but I know right now it's top down and it's appointed. So what can you guys do besides vote? Folks, this is the best, and Marty will back me up on this, this is the best executive group of candidates I have ever seen in the state. I've been at this a lot of years. Never have we had such great candidates. I am fiercely independent. I have never said vote 100% Republican, but I'm saying it this year because there's a state income tax just about to get its boot on our necks. We cannot afford that. It's not like they're going to eliminate anything else. So that's we need people to get out and vote. I just found out today that 30% of firearms owners don't vote. What is up with that? We've got an initiative that's going to take firearms away from people just because someone said so. And we don't get these guys voting. We're in trouble. So I might that's get people out to vote. Babysit them. Do what you have to do. Make sure those ballots get in. Take envelopes. Take information, take these, get them into people's hands. The envelopes, he needs money. We'd like to get some advertising. We are a short, short-funded campaign because they've never run before. We didn't start until the day of the convention. So we're running behind in money all the time, and we have been very careful with it. So we'd like a little more to be less careful. Okay, are there any questions? I know I'm not the candidate. Try to answer it if I can. If not, go months. Twice, and I'm out of here. Thank you.